Yeah, so it's uh, stopped raining. It didn't last for too long. It did get very cold when it was. But you know, this is the ground. The rain has not permeated it. It has not helped me gain any water at all. What it has gained is a lower temperature, which will give me a few more hours in survival because my the temperature is lowered, my body temperature is lowered, it's cooled me down, and it's now like, giving me that extra kind of uh, energy which would have been used so the water hasn't permeated the soil as you can see it didn't last too long the rain even though I did thunder down uh, yeah I didn't get really any water out of it at all I wet my lips that was it what it did do is cool me down and that means that my body didn't have to use water to sweat so that's kind of given me maybe a few more hours who knows to keep on going and keep on surviving out here uh, this hasn't really gone to plan. I didn't really expect it, it to start raining down So my whole kind of plan of what I was doing has kind of changed But like ultimately it hasn't affected it just given me a few more hours It hasn't affected what I've got to do which is to survive out here in a very dry desert because really it hasn't made a difference Look how dry it is Dry as a bone as a bone You know as fast as it rains down the Sun and the heat would just dry that back up again in seconds I'm trying to avoid licking my lips because that dehydrates you more as well. Yeah, so I do feel like I'm really out of place because even though the rain was a bit of a blessing because it's cooled me down, like I don't know what to expect anymore. You know, that's just throwing me for a loop. I thought this was going to be like a certain really hot really dry desert survival and now it's had a bit of rain and i'm like what else is next around the corner what didn't i expect what didn't i plan for <sighs> now deserts have a complete different set of survivals to follow uh, versus any other environment uh this is because they're dry you know things bite you things sting you the sun burns you the sun stings you everything out here is sapping you moisture and water and water is one of the key things you need to survive you know do me without food that's fine do me without water well that's gonna be a big issue you know the deserts are dry hot and bleached even the ground will burn your feet as well deserts, deserts are dry bleached and even this is a dry, hot, bleached, and just even the ground will burn your feet. I'm gonna have to make some kind of footwear to enable me to keep on walking tomorrow. Things you want, you make one little mistake, you could end up dying, even from hyp hypothermia. You know, hypothermia is the one where your body temperature drops too low. If I did have this parachute out here, that might have been an issue, but you know, it's gonna get hot again in the desert, you're always gonna dry out. Oh my god, I'm so dehydrated. This is absolutely horrible. I'm sorry. I'm I This is absolutely horrible. I'm so dehydrated. Got sand blowing into my face, into my eyes. My energy levels are absolutely shot. I think the heat exhaustion has already got me. Like I just feel like I can barely even hold this camera up. I just need water. It's as simple as that. I don't care about food. Food will only dehydrate you out here because it requires water to digest it. I just need water. My mouth is so dry. Not even taking away any scorpions or snakes or anything that could be out here to harm me the heat and the sun alone is enough to kill you like, I'm not sure why I ever put myself through this to be honest like what am I actually gaining from being out here going through hell It is hell. So 
I'm dehydrated. Like the sun's kind of peeking out from behind the clouds. So that's kind of making things worse. It's just so dry and desolate out here. <laughs> you know, I've already had a dust storm come at me today, blowing stuff into my... I've already had a dust storm coming at me today, blowing sand and dust into my eye. I've had the potential of a flash flood that could have got me, but obviously I don't think it rained enough in the right places for that to happen. Ugh. A lot of the one thing I've got to make, avoid doing is panicking. But the hard one of the hardest things out here is having to carry all this gear and film all this while surviving. You know, if I was just surviving easy if i was just carrying the gear easy if i was just filming easy but when you got to do every single part by yourself it's so, it is like so hard like it's as hard of a film shoot that you'll ever get because you're, you're starving you're dehydrated you're knackered but you know you got to avoid becoming panicky because people who are panicky make bad decisions and bad decisions out here can be the matter between life and death. You know, when people think about deserts, they think about the movies. Lawrence of Lawrence, when people think about deserts, they think about the movies, you know, like from Indiana Jones to Lawrence of Arabia, from The Mummy. They just think about the sand dunes, but 80% of, of uh, but you know, they just think about the sand dunes, but 80% of the desert isn't even sand dunes. It's rocks, it's gravel, it's dry. It's not always as cinematic as uh, this, you know, cinema leads you to believe it. Uh, yeah, it's just dry and it's just hot. That's just, it's dry and hot. But you know, there's different types of deserts in the world. You know, they can be sandy, they can be flat and really hard rock, they can be quite dusty, they can be kind of white sand, they can be orange sand, they can be red sand, they can be by the sea, they can be in the middle of a continent. But one thing they do have all in common is lack of water. Lack of water is what makes a desert a desert, at least precipitation wise. Uh, the low yearly rain this place gets is why no one lives out here. It's why animals don't live out here. It's why nothing lives out here. And it's why it's a place you don't want to ever want to find yourself in. You have to survive. If I had a choice, a desert would be the, my last choice of a place to survive. So unless you can find water, unless you're close enough to a town, then you've got no chance of getting out. At least if you if you're in a forest, you can actually survive in the forest for a while. As long as as long as you can actually survive in the forest for a while, as long as you can stay warm enough and dry enough. You see, my dryness in my mouth is making me mess up my words, and it's getting more difficult to film. This is only day one, and I just wonder how hard the rest of these days are going to be. Uh, I've got no idea to be honest. I, I don't know what I've got myself into. I, like I get myself into situations, and. I, don't know how to get out of them. And it's not just water that links all deserts together, it's danger. It's a dangerous place. Hot, dry, snakes, lizards, far from water, far from food, far from shelter from the sun. Without this parachute, I will probably burn to death tomorrow. 
it's a very unfriendly environment and it's a place where if you are standing here you need to be rescued very very quickly So a lot of things that all deserts are going to have, they're going to have low rainfall, very sparse vegetation, which means there's going to be even fewer creatures out here to eat, you know. It's not a place full of lizards and snakes. This is not enough. A jungle might be full of lizards and snakes. A desert, you're going to find them very rarely. Uh. But, you know, ah. Uh. The air temperature out here can rise as high as 60 degrees as Celsius. In centigrade, uh, that's going to be around about 140 in uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, that's during the day. But the heat can get worse, and when you're sitting on the floor, you get too hot. From the wind temperature, it's going to be sapping the heat straight from your lips, straight from every part of your body. Equipment will die. My camera is overheating. I'm overheating. I am my camera. We don't have a great chance, to be honest. Because of like, because of the lack of water, because water will hold temperature better than land. That's why the sea will retain temperature far on into late into the, as, okay, because of a desert has because the desert has lack of water. The, the, because the desert has the lack of lack of water. Because a desert has a lack of water, the kind of range of temperatures what it can be are way more extreme than other places. Because this is this is because water will regulate temperature because it will hold temperature. Like for example, the sea temperature in Britain is at its warmest in around you know August September, even though the hottest months are more June and July. But you know, like at, at during the day it can be extremely hot. During the night it can be as low as freezing in some places. So you need shelter from the.